this real Ghana world boxing Aquaba welcome to my channel Madai said thank you for tuning in make sure you hit the subscribe button on your way in on your way out also hit that notification bell to get the latest videos peace congratulations all due respect to Delphine Pearson. You know, uh, she she forced uh, Melissa Saint Ville to sit, stay on her stool. You know, she forced her to stay on her stool, man. Wow, I mean, I'm just, you know, it only took six rounds. You know what I'm saying? Melissa Saint Ville didn't come out for the seventh round. You know, um, you know, but the plan was to knock out, try to knock out Delphine early. You know, and she she tried to do it. You know, but she just didn't have it. She didn't have what it take. You know, with uh supposed to be little miss tyson but she i think she only got one knockout so you know uh hey she tried you know you know i give credit to uh i get i give respect let's say to uh, melissa st ville for being a road warrior traveling to belgium to try to you know dethrone pierce soon but it just ain't gonna happen it just didn't happen you know I, it just didn't happen but you know um 42 40 43 and one now delphine you know uh all in belgium i i, I was giving her a hard time for that and i had a, a comment talking about uh you know she don't have support you know and she a full-time cop and all this i don't give a damn about none of that man like you know there's people that took the risk you know and, and left their home country for for stardom you know what i'm saying and 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 delphine didn't want to do that that's up to her but you know she's lacking uh she lacking promotion because of that. She wants to stay home, which, you know, which I can, hey, at the end of the day, I was hard on it, but I can respect her, you know. But this fight, you know, she, uh, they say she uh, gained control after the third, after the, you know, the, she, she withstood the, the wave of uh, punches from Melissa St. Ville, and she gained control, you know, and, you know, just, you know, started working Melissa and just, you know, did what she did, you know, with the, with the range and, you know, just the height advantage, she was able to punish Melissa St. Ville and, and force her to quit. She quit, you know, she did, Melissa St. Ville did something that boxers ain't supposed to do, and that's quit, you know what I mean? Unless she injured or whatever, we'll, we'll soon find out, but Delphine made her quit, you know what I'm saying? Made her ninth defense, she's the WBC title, she has WBC title, you know, uh, improved to 43 and, and 1. 18 wins by stoppage so you know she 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 either either you knock somebody else or she, you snake them quit and that that speaks volumes now i didn't think melissa and ville quit i thought she was uh she was a tough fighter but she quit you know what i'm saying you know uh but hey you know when you you know hey, it just is what it is it happens it's boxing you know but you know delphine pearson is getting ready to uh step up again she's a step up fight i give her credit she stepped up but then stay St. Ville. She she stepped up against St. Ville. Now she's she gonna step up again on that June first card on the undercard of Joshua uh, Jarrell Miller. She gonna she gonna face Katie Taylor. That's it. pending. Katie Taylor does what she's supposed to do. You know you know pending pending that you know Katie Taylor has a date with Rose Valentine uh, on June. You know she, actually that's coming up uh, pretty soon. Actually that's April thirteenth. So. Oh, no, no, excuse me. That's, uh, when is that fight happening? Um, that's April 8th. No, no, it's, it's March. Excuse me. Damn, I'm all over the place here. Man, that's crazy. I don't even remember if my, on my birthday, March 15th. Yeah, so the the, the, the best fighter in, in boxing, in my opinion, uh, Katie Taylor. Well, one of the best. I don't want to say the best because it is between Katie Taylor and Chris Shields, but. Whoever gets that undisputed first, and, and unfortunately, K. Taylor's gonna get it before uh, Carissa. You know, they both, they both. I think they won, won and won, won, won. I'm not even gonna say one A, one B, because one and one A. It is because that means somebody has to be under. But Katie Taylor is about to become undisputed. Okay, so well, no, she's not. What the hell am I talking about, dude? <laughs> hey, Delphi Pearson has the WBC. Yeah, Katie Taylor. Well. Chris and Shields gonna be number one. K Taylor, you know, I'm gonna say number two because she ain't she ain't gonna be undisputed yet, you know. Because uh, Cecilia Breakers, man, is undisputed, but she ain't got nobody to fight, so she not in she not in there, you know what I'm saying? She not in there. She ain't got nobody. She not even trying to like cut weight and or, or nothing, you know. She don't even want to make a date with nobody or catch weight. So, you know, she could have uh, 
She could have fought Katie Taylor. She could have made an agreement. Hey, I'm going to drop down to 140. Meet me, meet me at 140, Katie. That's what Cecilia could have done, but she didn't do that. So, uh, hey, Chris Shields about to become undisputed when she, you know, if she dethrones Christina Hammer, I don't say, she, you know. So I'm all, this is all like prediction, you know. I don't even know what. Hey, so far, you know, predictions ain't looking too good, man. I mean, I didn't really predict Melissa St. Ville would beat uh, Delphine Pierce soon. I said she had to knock her out, you know what I'm saying? But I guess she didn't have to do that. You know, the the Delphine was just too much for her, you know. So, yeah. Hey, look. Delphine got a big, big task on her hands when she goes up against Katie Taylor. You know, Katie Taylor, is, uh, she got all the, the tricks in the bag. You know, Delphine got range and she's uh, she got a hell of a motor, you know. She has heart, you know. And I just wish we, we would see more of her. I wish she would have left Belgium and, and, and you know, Either went to the UK with Eddie Hearn because Eddie Hearn gave her exposure. Eddie Hearn assigned Delphine in the second, you know, if, if Delphine wanted to leave Belgium, you know, for, you know, but I guess she has commitments in Belgium, you know, but I don't know. It doesn't even matter. Like if you're trying to become great, you have to, you have to take the risk, you know, and, and you know, uh, or get better promotion or something, you know, she could, she could fight out of Belgium, but like, you know, you know, get, get with somebody like she could even get with a Tom Loeffler, you know, Tom Loeffler promotes a lot of Europeans. Tom Loeffler promoted a, uh, uh, Cecilia out of Cecilia. See, this is why I don't understand. People talking about how uh, Delphine don't have support and all whatever that comment. Some subscribe, some guy. I don't know who the hell he was. Some keyboard warrior was on there talking because I read the comments. You know, most some of them. And, and the guy talking about, look, you know, you don't know what you're talking about. You know, she don't have no support and all that. Man, look, Cecilia, Cecilia Barakas had went through being banned in Norway. You know, a, a boxing was banned in Norway, and she still found a way to. Get get the get with the right people, and she's been traveling. You know, she's a real warrior. Delphine would have would have to travel. Just you know, it's like if if women's boxing is important to her like that, she would travel, get her name out there, and that's what Cecilia did. She tried. She fought in uh fuck. She fought in California a few times. She fought at StubHub. She fought. She's fought in California. She's done what she's supposed to do to to promote women's boxing. But Delphine feels like you know she all she has to do is stay in Belgium and fight forty three fights in Belgium and shit. Like, man, that woman should have been traveling. We, a lot of people would have known about her, you know. Like, nobody even can find a fight, you know what I'm saying? Like, her recent, nobody can fight. She's a WBC champ, and she's not being televised, you know what I'm saying, on a worldly. There's a problem with that, you know. The, it means that she's not doing her part. And and we, we, we want to see her fight, man. That's the thing. We want to see Delphine on the, on this on this TV, you know what I'm saying? We want to see her. But now we she's going to go up against Katie Taylor, and they got to they gotta do a hell of a lot to promote Delphine because nobody knows, nobody the casual fan don't even know who the hell she is. And that, you know, unfortunately, in order to sell big, you got to have, you got to include the casual fan. And they got to, you know, uh, Eddie Hearn got to promote the hell out of Delphine. You know, she, it, it, pending Katie Taylor passes uh, Ro Rose Valentine, you know, which is, which she will, you know, it's going to be, a, that's going to be a, that's a guaranteed W right there. Katie Taylor is one of the top, top uh, women fighters in the world. So, you know, she, the skills, she has all the skills, man. She's, Oh man, she's fast. Combinations, you know. She sparred with Guillermo Ringadel. She she took in a lot of tricks from him. The what the woman is is well versed, you know. Well, so I don't see how Delphine could even. It's gonna be a great fight. Let's just go. Let's go there. It's gonna be a great fight. But on paper, K T has the edge. She's the favorite. You know what I'm saying? But oh well, whatever, man. You know this is this is this video is supposed to be about Delphine Pierce soon. You know she uh she beat she beat a um. A game opponent, a road warrior. She beat, she beat Miss Lisa Saintville, man. I don't think Miss. This is, I think it's her first time being stopped. You know, uh, you know. Unfortunately, you know, uh, you know. Hey, it, it is what it is. You know, she she came road warrior. She came to the hometown and got and, and quit. You know, some. So, hey, hopefully she's okay. But you know, uh, that's 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 not good. You know. Uh, well, let's look forward to this uh, June first date you know uh june 1st date delphine pearson versus uh melissa st ville uh to to come you know what i'm saying so yeah y'all take it easy it's real guy in the world boxing